everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, let's talk about the clash that has been going on in River State between Vikings and Offspark and also between Icelanders and Offspark right there in Emoha community which is in Queryland. So for the people that don't know what Offspark is, Offspark is actually the vigilante group of River State. And Icelander is a confraternity. So the Icelanders are actually fighting with the vigilante in River State. And a lot of people might be surprised why this is. So in this video, I am going to explain to you guys the reason these confraternities have problem with Ospark. So before I go into the video, I quickly want to remind you guys to like this video, leave a comment in the comment section to tell me what you think about this particular topic and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. This problem that Vikings and Icelanders have with Ospark actually started in 2019 and this problem started from this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen. Now this young man is popularly known as Gunboats and it is said that this young man was brought down by Offspark Vigilante in 2019 and since then there has been problem in Omuha. So let me quickly explain to you guys the reason this problem actually concerns Vikings and Icelanders. Now this young man is said to have been a member of Icelanders years ago and while he was a member of Icelanders he became the leader which means he became their number one man of Icelanders. And when this young man got admission into the university right there in River State, he became a member of Vikings as there is no Icelanders in the university. So this young man got into the university and became a Vikings member. He was very active in Vikings to the extent that he became the leader of Vikings, the number one man of Vikings until he graduated. So in 2019, this young man was said to have been coming back from his hometown, which is Omoha. And it seems like all the Icelanders and all the Vikings members in Omoha, they respect Gunboat a lot. So while Gunboat was coming back from his hometown with his fiancée, they noticed that the Ops Park was approaching them. So the way they were being approached, his girlfriend, his fiancée, told Gunboat that she is not comfortable with the way the Ops Park members are approaching them. So Gunboat told his girlfriend that she has nothing to worry about, that he cannot run away, leaving her there, that he is going to handle the situation, that he knows some of these Ops Park members and he hasn't done anything wrong. So when they actually got to where the vigilantes are, the vigilante took Gumboat away and up till today, Gumboat is nowhere to be found. It was his girlfriend, his fiancée, that actually tell the story of what happened to Gumboat. So after this happened, the Vikings members and the Icelanders, they were very angry. And the Vikings members actually faced the Ospark. They went to Onoha, brought down about six members of the Ospark, and they brought down the child of the Ospark leader, which was less than two years old. And all this happened in a day. So Governor Wiki quickly deployed military to Onoha to calm things down. And after that, everything was calm. So in 2021, the Vikings members decided to remember Gunboat and they went to Omoha and they caught the leader of the Ospark and they removed his head. Even the mainstream media covered this in 2021 and Governor Wiki also quickly intervened to calm everything down in 2021. Now in 2022, the Icelanders decided to remember Gunboat about three days ago. So they went to Omoha to bring down the current Ospark leader and when they were on their way, it seems like the Ospark already got an update that this young man were coming for them. So the Ospark were actually waiting for them. So as they were coming, the Ospark opened fire at them. Boom, boom, boom. But it seems like the Icelanders have automobile as none of them actually went down. So the Icelanders brought down three Ospark members. And nobody actually know how the current leader of the Ospark actually escaped. A lot of people are actually saying 
that the young man disappeared. But this is not actually confirmed. The young man was able to escape. So because of this, Governor Wiki quickly deployed military to Omuha two days ago and the military is still there. They are arresting young men right there in Omuha. So if the military actually catch you as a young man in Omuha right now, then you will actually know that Jesus Christ is Lord because they are really dealing with the young men that are there. So this is the current situation in that area. In case you want to travel to River State, in Omuha to be precise, you really have to know that this is what is going on. Anyway, you're watching Nigerian View.